Hello! Today we're going to look at repairing your resin vat. In this case, it's a resin vat from a slash resin printer. Now, the resin tank on a resin printer is a consumable, meaning it'll eventually wear out or you'll destroy it by trying to remove a failed print like I did here. You could order a new resin tank from the manufacturer. That would take a long time and cost a lot of money. So instead, I'm going to try and replace the film in the bottom of the vat. The film I'm using is called FEP film. FEP stands for some extremely long word that I wouldn't know how to pronounce anyway. I ordered my replacement from FlexVat.com here in the US. They sell a film specifically for DLP, SLA, and LCD 3D printer vats. I ordered a piece of film that was 305 millimeters by 610 millimeters. The film is 0.27 millimeters thick. That should give me enough film to replace the vat twice. The first step is to remove all the resin from the vat. Next you remove the bottom of the vat. In this case it's held on by 16 Phillips head screws. Once all the screws are removed, then you can just remove the bottom frame. Then you can remove the old film. I should have been wearing my gloves because there is still resin in all the nooks and crannies. I removed this foam gasket from around the perimeter of the tank. Then I cleaned up the tank a little bit more with some isopropyl alcohol. Then I got the FEP film out. I cut off a piece to use for the vat. You have to make sure that the film is larger than the tank. You're going to need this to pull it tight once you start reinstalling it. Then you lay the film over the vat, making sure you have a good amount of overhang on all four sides. Also remember to put that foam gasket back in before you do this. Before reinstalling the screws, you have to create a hole in the vat material using an awl, awl, a sharp pointy device. Once the first screw is installed, you then install the second screw on the opposite side of the vat. You pull the vat material tightly, punch the hole for the screw, and screw it in. From there I put the screws in the ends of the vat, again pulling the film tightly, punching a hole, and installing the screw. Continue to install the screws alternating end for end, side for side, till they were all in, making sure to pull the film tightly with each screw. Eventually I had all 16 screws put back in. Once all the screws are installed, you just need to remove the excess film. I did this using a razor blade. Now I noticed that this vat material is much clearer than the previous vat material. I'll have to see how that works with this printer. And as the final step, I treated the bottom of the vat with Rain-X for plastic. Some people claim this helps the models release from the vat easier. But I'm not sure if it does anything can't hurt. Well now the vat's ready for use again. Once I get some more resin, I'll give it a try. Make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, whatever these YouTube people want you to do, and talk to you next time.